All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Derek. Now, today's episode of Gemini Moor Swings, we will be discussing this teacher that was giving his 13 year old and his father the Gok Gok 3000. They say he was sleep she was sleeping with the son and the father. She even lived with them, man. This story is crazy. Without further ado, man, let's jump straight into it. And first and foremost, sentencing for a former teacher accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a 13 year old. Today, that woman walked into court and learned her fate. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Sarah is off today. 20 I ain't gonna lie. She kind of bad. Four-year-old Alexandria Vera was, ser was sentenced to 10 years for that relationship with an eighth grader. Channel 2's Robert Arnold is live with more on what took place today in the courtroom. Robert. That sentence given to the former teacher was far shorter than the 30 years she was facing. Then even though Alexandria Vera was sentenced to 10 years in prison, she could be eligible for parole in five years. The former English teacher sat quietly as a judge sentenced her to 10 years in prison. Neither she nor her attorney made any statements after sentencing. Vera pleaded guilty to having a lengthy sexual relationship with one of her eighth grade students at Stovall Middle School. Even students at Stovall. Are you guys, this teacher is walking down in the courtroom with a choker on her neck, looking like Bowser looking like the biggest boss walking with her shoulders right up. She like she's walking like she's on a hunt like she's trying to hunt somebody down Like I read the comments on this video and a lot of people saying like by her walk you guys can see it like It's very predatory. It's like she's a predator like as you guys see she's sleeping with a uh, middle school So you guys can tell she's a predator and you guys she has all the characteristics of a predator and she only got 10 years and she can get out for five years if this was a man and a young lady this would not be anything like this. They were trying to throw that man under the jail and give him a death penalty. Being pregnant by the teen. Court records show Veda had an abortion when school officials and police got wind of the affair. Veda's attorney painted her as cooperative and that her crime was a one time mistake due to being abused in the past. Prosecutors countered, saying Veda tried to hide the affair and even groomed the teen by buying his family groceries and paying cell phone bills. Prosecutors said Veda's own six year old daughter even called the 13 year old boy daddy. Whoa! This predator tried to put this 13 year old, a child on this 13 year old. She tried to put a six year old on a 13 year old and forced a six year old to call a 13 year old dad. This is impossible for this to even be his child. Like, what type of mental issues is this? Why don't they get this lady to the psych ward versus the jail? They need to get this lady some serious help. Like, she's telling her six-year-old to call this young man, a 13-year-old, dad. It's crazy. And she's buying them groceries. She's buying them phones, paying phone bills. Probably buying an iPhone 13. You guys know how it is. She's out there spending thousands of dollars on a 13-year-old. She must have been in love. Year old boy, daddy. Now, the family of the boy who was involved with Veda came to her defense saying they found the relationship culturally acceptable and they believe the former teacher loved their child. The judge said the laws of the United States speak otherwise. Reporting live, Robert Arnold. Wow, you guys, this lady, she looked kind of Hispanic. You guys know in the Hispanic culture, they allow older men to date younger women and younger men today or the women in some cases. Not saying each Hispanic household is like that. Not saying this speaks for the entire Hispanics. I'm just saying in some cultures. So it's like Latin and Hispanic. I'm not sure you guys, hey, don't fuck me. But you guys, make sure you comment what do you guys think her race is so you guys can correct me so this can be a learning moment. And you guys make sure you comment if she's the best teacher in the world or is this like the worst teacher in the world. Would you guys want to teach like this? All the guys and like ladies, like, do you think this is acceptable? Or ladies, if you were, uh, if this was a reverse, would you accept like sexual favors from a, a male teacher? I just want to hear what everybody thoughts. I'm not saying who's right or wrong. Let's have a conversation. It's your boy Derek. Hey.